Now, we are going to refill our cartridge with the syringe. After we insert the refill needle, we start to inject the ink. As you can see, ink starts to spread from the edge of the needle, not from the crimped head. And, due to the existence of air inside the sponge, it cannot follow a regular path. Although we refill the correct amount of the ink, it even goes over the sponge. This will leave the ink to drip down through the print head and contamination, especially in color cartridges. And, as you can see, when we turn the cartridge upside down, the ink starts to drip to the tissue. This is an obvious proof that the ink has not been filled to the sponge properly. In our second trial, we move the needle upwards, slowly, while injecting the ink. However, the result is the same. Even if we try to vacuum the air, it will not work out. In fact, we will be vacuuming the ink instead of air. And we will not be able to remove the air bubbles and place the ink regularly. As you can see, there is left so much blank space inside the sponge. In other words, remaining air inside the sponge prevented ink from being filled, starting from the print head. And, it couldn't follow a regular path.